Good evening. This is Mailed In News. I've seen this clown before. I've been taking a gander lately into the benzo addiction and withdrawal situation. So, of course, I've looked into the Jordan Peterson story, as has Dr. Todd Grande. Now, since this is mailed in, let's just get to it. This guy is a fake doctor. Let's look at his LinkedIn. He makes it seem as if he's a real doctor. It's like blah, 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 blah. Scrolly, scroll, 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 scroll. Ah, hey, he is a doctor. That's good because I got some questions about um, mental health and psychology. So that's a doctorate in philosophy. Yeah. So he's a real doctor, but he's a fake doctor, and that he's not the kind of doctor that he implied. One other thing I'd like to point out about this philosopher, knuckle, goof, whatever, whatnot, I should have said. He's showing signs of tardy dyskinesia himself. I made a decision many decades ago, well, at least a few of them, that I wasn't going to take any of those psychiatric drugs. I'm not going to incriminate myself and say that I've tried a Xanax here or there. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take them. I don't want them. Pot is good enough. Now, if someone is not into pot, if they have trouble with pot, they need to go cold turkey in life. I'm sorry. That's reality. Pot is the only safe intoxicant. That's the news. I got it done. And it's a couple minutes there. I was thinking of doing a show on Meghan Markle's job, but it's too much of a hassle to track down footage. And I don't know. This Todd Grande thing seems a little more relevant. Although we all know there's something weird going on with that royal family and Oprah. Alright, that's the news, or else this video will never end. Todd Grande, a fake doctor. Oh, and I'll just add in that he's getting clobbered in the comments on that Jordan Peterson page. I don't see how Big Pharma will win this one out in the long term. I heard that 50% of people should not take those drugs for more than two weeks and then everyone else must stop after four weeks but they're on these drugs for years on end and the withdrawal is worse than the whatnot the actual i don't know it's the worst part seems to be this withdrawal it's worse than any other drug it seems to go off of and that's why peterson had such a struggle I don't respect Jordan Peterson that much. I'm going to say I respect him a bit for coming forward, though, on this story. That took bravery.